This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with Sarah Gunnarsdottir and Pamela Riven about their film, My Year of Dicks. How are you both doing today? Great, thank you. Good. Wonderful. I enjoyed this film a lot, and I'm curious, Pamela, when you wrote this book, did you expect that this was going to be adapted into a movie like this? How can how can anyone have these expectations? <laughs> No, um, it has continued to be one wonderful surprise after another. Do you think the you that's portrayed in, you know, in the book and in the movie would be surprised to see this come to fruition like this or embarrassed? I don't think she'd be embarrassed. I really don't. I think she'd be flattered. Um, because all I really ever wanted back then was to be taken seriously. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yeah, what, what, how did you first discover this, Sarah? Um, FX Network sent me a uh, Pam's script for this that she had already adapted for animation. And I guess they were sending it out to a few people and, and, and trying to see who would be a good fit. And, uh, and I, you know, I, I loved it. <laughs> it's very honest and it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful writing. Like the arc of the whole thing is just so amazing. <laughs> I also like that it has so many different styles. Was there any particular uh, section that was most fun to create? So I did have very wonderful animators with me. And when I was reading uh, the script and, and seeing the, the style changes that Pam already had in the script, um, I, I thought of all these different artists that I wanted to uh, lend their artistic um, sensibility to, to each genre and, and everybody who I wanted uh, said yes to me. So I, I didn't, I wasn't really tackling the genres myself. I, I, I was happy to give it to um, other artists. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what was really, I think for me, hard, the hardest, um, I was I storyboarded everything. I did some animation, but I think in the storyboarding process, the, the talk, the sex talk with that was the hardest one. And I'm sure you. this is the main topic of conversation a lot around this film is where did the title come from? Because I know that's not the title of the source material. Huh. It is a chapter in the book, though. This chapter in the source material is there. So I've been calling it my ear of dicks for a bit. <laughs> Would you, do you think that's an advantage because it brings more curious and startled and sometimes horrified eyes to the film? It, it is a bit of a attention grabber, but it's also, um, for me, I just felt like it was more inclusive. Like not everybody's written a note to a boy, but we've all had a year of dicks in one way, shape or another, unfortunately. And have and you? I, Sorry, go ahead. I'm just gonna be really honest with you. First, when uh, we were starting production, I was like, "Pam, I cannot say my year. I can't be saying this. Can we talk about the title?" And luckily, um, Pam won a debate, and we kept the title. And now I'm so grateful for it because not only has it been like this, it's just sparked joy, you know. But more than that, I think. Um, it puts us all right back in being a little bit juvenile and giggling, you know? And it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm sure there have been a lot of great reactions. Is there anything that's been particularly memorable or shocking? Somebody who you didn't expect to be a fan or just a surprising reaction? Well, I mean, Riz Ahmed nailed it, right? I'm still trying to figure out how to send them some sort of thank you. <laughs> It's very difficult to ship a bouquet of dicks. It's hard. It's harder than you think. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I love we also... it my... Oh, sorry. Go right ahead, Sada. I love it when my 79-year-old father-in-law says, so what's going with... What's up? What's happening with dicks? Yeah. How are the dicks? <laughs> what? <are> the dicks? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, it's very fun to get to revisit this film. I hope a lot of people will have the chance to see it. And good luck at the Oscars. Thank you. Wait, also Lisa Loeb. 
Lisa Loeb was like, I love this. And I was like, thank you, Lisa Loeb. <laughs> I think it's just, it's been bringing out a lot of the best of the 90s also. Yeah, and we got this amazing um, support from Phil Lord. Yeah, Phil Lord, Lord and Miller. Yeah, we really have been uh, grateful that um, the animation community has also gotten the juvenile giggles with us, but then take it seriously. And that, that's been nice. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Abe.